If you're considering a flatbed printer, then I'm here to provide you with some tools to help you decide which one may be a good fit for your business. Hi, I'm Mike Goodwin and welcome to Graphic Insights. This channel is all about helping you grow your wide format graphics business by providing sales and marketing strategies, how-to videos, media and equipment reviews, industry news, and more. Wide format flatbed printers allow you to print on a variety of materials, including rigid substrates like wood, metal, glass, acrylic, and more, as well as flexible materials like vinyl and fabric. This versatility enables you to undertake diverse printing projects from signage and banners to packaging prototypes and personalized products. In this video, I will discuss the top five entry-level UV flatbed printers from Epson, CET, Muto, Roland, and Mamaki. All the flatbed printers in this video will have a minimum bed size of four foot by eight foot and offer white and varnish, also referred to as clear, and come in under $100,000. I will cover speed, ink options, print quality, cost, and more. All pricing for this video may or may not contain buyer incentives, rebates, or promotions. Please check with your local dealer for current pricing. Let's get into it. First up is the Roland Versa Object CO640 F300. This printer has a total bed size of 66 and inches by 121 inches. It offers two vacuum zones and it's capable of holding 20 pounds per square foot. The automatic head height can accommodate items up to 7.8 inches tall. This is the largest opening of all the flatbeds being discussed today. The Versa object comes with a low temp adjustable UV LED lamps. And although its print speeds vary with ink configurations and graphics, the Versa object can print up to 115 square foot per hour when not printing white or clear. Roland offers two different kinds of inks for this series, the EUV5 Eco UV ink, which is offered in 500 milliliter cartridges, and CMYK Red, Orange, Gloss, Primer, and White. White is offered in 220 milliliters. The other ink that Roland offers is their V-Bond ink, and that is offered in CMYK Gloss and White. Either ink is delivered through print heads capable of 1440 DPI. Roland's V-Bond inks are specifically formulated to deliver unsurpassed image quality, vibrant color, and superior scratch resistance. They are cost-effective, CPSIA toy safety compliant, and extremely durable. They are perfect for a wide range of direct-to-object applications, allowing users to personalize and customize a vast array of items with stunning graphics and unique special effects. Additional options for the Versa object include a broad substrate compatibility list, allowing you to print on a virtually limitless range of flexible and rigid substrates and objects. The printing distance mode allows you to print directly onto irregular or curved objects accurately. You can add extra impressions to your prints easily with a library full of printable textures that come in the printer. Data is sent from the included VersaWorks 6 RIP software via gigabit ethernet port. The overall dimensions of the printer are 111 inches by 120 23 inches by 59 inches high and weighs in at 1,760 pounds. The Versa Object CO640 requires a single phase 220 volt outlet and comes standard with a two year warranty. It has a price tag of $82,000. Next up, we have the CET Q6500. The Q6500 printer has a bed size of 48 inches by 96 inches. It offers four zones of vacuum and a blower to help loading and unloading substrates. The CET Q6 can accommodate materials up to 4 inches thick. All CET flatbed Q6 printers are equipped with LED cure lamps and a static art kit. The Q6 is capable of producing production quality graphics at 156 square foot per hour and 107 square foot per hour in quality mode. The CET's fast drying environmentally friendly UV ink is free of VOCs. The ink comes in one liter bottles of CMYK white and varnish and is delivered through Rico Gen 6 printheads capable of 1440 DPI. Additional features of the Q6 series is that this printer is an excellent choice for those that need full bleed prints or the accuracy for double-sided printing thanks to the pin registration for accurate and consistent rigid media alignment. You can simultaneously print white color and varnish. The CET field upgradability allows this machine to grow with your business by adding rows or heads to increase speeds as the need arises in the field without upgrading your entire printer. Data is sent to the printer via ethernet cable. 
The Q6500 is compatible with Onyx RIP software and others, but does not ship with any. The overall dimensions are 184 inches by 99 inches by 55 inches, and it weighs in at 2,536 pounds. The Q6500 does require a 220 volt single phase outlet and comes with a one year warranty and a price of $89,000. Next up, we have the Epson V7000 flatbed printer which has a bed size of 48 inches by 96 inches with four vacuum zones to easily hold media in place for increased productivity. The print bed on the V7000 is capable of holding 10 pounds per square foot and the automatic head height can accommodate materials just over three inches thick. Prints are cured with UV LEDs and the printer does come with a separate water-cooled chiller for LED lamps. The state-of-the-art design delivers outstanding quality prints at speeds of 165 square foot per hour even when using white ink. The Epson V7000 offers a 10 color ink configuration of CMYK, light cyan, light magenta, gray, red, white, and varnish, the most channels available in this class. The 10 colors of Ultra Chrome UV ink are delivered through Epson's Micro Piezo printhead up to 1440 dpi. Additional options include a built-in ionizer that removes static electricity for enhanced reliability and durability. The Micro Piezo printhead also reduces graininess with variable droplet technology for highly accurate prints. Data is sent to the printer via super speed USB from the included Epson Edge print software. The overall dimensions of the printer are 182 inches by 109 by 68 inches, and it comes in at a weight just over 3,000 pounds. The Epson V7000 printer requires a single 220 volt outlet and comes standard with a one year warranty and a price tag of $90,000. Next up is the MUTO Performance Jet 2508 UF. The MUTO 2508 UF has a bed size of 48 inches by 96 inches. It's capable of holding substrates up to 10 pounds per square foot, and it offers four zones of a blower vacuum for easier handling and positioning of substrates. The MUTO 2508 UF has an automatic head height adjustment that can accommodate material up to four inches thick. Prints are cured with UV LED lamps, the 2805 UF with its staggered four print head design is capable of 960 square foot per hour when set up with a dual CMYK ink configuration in two pass mode. The MUTO 2508 UF CMYK white varnish ink options come in one liter bottles and are delivered to the variable dot drop on demand piezo print heads capable of 1200 DPI. The MUTO PJU VG5 UV inks can stretch up to 260% offering versatile printing possibilities. Some additional features of the 2508 UF include automatic media registration pins for easy registration for two-sided printing. The 2508 UF can also be upgraded in the field when adding white or varnish ink. The 2508 UF comes with the MUTO Edition FlexiSign print software. The overall dimensions of the printer are 196 inches by 89 by 58 inches, and it comes in at a weight of 2,756 pounds, and it does require one single 220 volt outlet. The MUTO Performance Jet 2508 UF comes with a one year warranty and a price tag of $95,000. Next up is the Mamaki JFX 200 2513EX. The 2513EX printer has a maximum print area of 98 inches by 51 inches and it's capable of holding substrates up to 110 pounds per square foot and offers a dual zone vacuum that have user adjustable pins for flexibility of substrate placement and the included ionizer will help keep static in check. The 2513EX has an automatic head height adjustment for objects up to two inches thick. Mamaki offers four different ink sets for this printer. The LH100 series gives you a high scratch and chemical resistance and it's offered in CMYK, white and clear. The LUS150 is balanced for adhesion and flexibility, and it's offered in CMYK Light Cyan, Light Magenta, White and Clear. The LUS120 will allow for flexibility and scratch resistance, and the LUS350, which will give you up to 350% elongation for thermal forming applications. Mamaki does offer a separate PR200 primer. All of these inks can be delivered through the drop-on-demand piezo print heads at resolutions of up to 1200 dpi, and speeds up to 376 square feet per hour in draft mode and cured via UV LED lamps. Some additional features of the Mamaki JFX 200-2513EX printer offer a foot pedal to control vacuum which comes in handy if your hands are full loading substrates. The textured print workflows are supported by Rasterlink 6 software and three staggered print heads allow for printing white and clear simultaneously. The Mamaki 2513EX printer comes with Rasterlink 6 RIP software 
Files are delivered to the printer via Ethernet or USB connection. The printer dimensions are 173 by 96 by 49, and it weighs in at 1,433 pounds, and it does require a single phase 220 volt outlet for power. The printer comes with a one-year warranty and a price tag of $70,000. In summary, this list has a printer for most shops. If you're looking to hit colors typically achieved with EcoCell ink, then the Roland or Epson with their expanded color ink set might be a good choice. If you need flexibility to print on really thick materials, then the Roland Versa object gives you the biggest advantage with up to eight inches, and it's also the only printer to come with a two-year warranty. If you have the need for speed, then the dual CMYK ink configuration combined with a staggered print head array on the MUTO 2508 UF capable of 968 square foot per hour is a good choice. The Mamaki 2513EX gives you white and clear and is the most budget friendly of all of them at $70,000. The CET and MUTO printers can grow with your shop with the ability to field upgrade your print heads for speed or additions to your ink. While the initial investment in a wide format flatbed printer may seem substantial, it can lead to significant cost savings in the long run, especially for businesses that frequently outsource jobs. By bringing printing capabilities in-house, you can reduce outsourcing expenses, minimize turnaround times, and have greater control over production schedules, ultimately improving workflow, efficiency, and profitability. Additionally, with the ability to print directly onto substrates, there's often no need for additional mounting or finishing processes, saving both time and money. I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if you're considering buying a flatbed, and if so, which one you're considering. The links to all the printers discussed today will be in the description below. Thanks for watching.